Hello everyone, this is Dialet Boy. I just made a purchase through a website called Fanatical. It's a mystery bundle uh, website. And we're going to play through some of these games that we get in the mystery bundle. Hopefully there's some obscure ones, uh, but we're going to skip a couple. We're going to skip Saints Row. Um, we're going to skip Shadow of the Tomb Raider since those are pretty well known. But we're going to try this lovely Planet Arcade, Laser Life, Bit Dungeon 2, Guts and Glory, Stasis, Peaky Binders, Mastermind, Thoth, and Lucius 3. Probably split it into two videos since it's probably pretty long. Maybe even three videos. I uh, just blocked off the keys here. But uh, if anyone subscribes, the first person who messages me who's a new subscriber can get this Saints Row uh, key. I already have the game, so I really don't need any more. So let's get going on the video and the playthrough. Alright, so we're going to start things off with this Guts and Glory game. Looks pretty janky already, so I'm pretty excited to see what it has in store for us. So let's get going here. <laughs> I'm liking this title page right off the bat here. This little kid on the little bike carrier. <laughs> Jeez, the music's pretty fun too. Click play here. Official tracks. A day at the park. This kind of looks. This looks better. Happy day. Enjoy some quality bonding time during a happy bicycle ride through the neighborhood. All right, I am ready. Let's go. Mm. Let's go with John and Jimmy. They're on the cover anyway. So. What the. Okay. Oh, I see here. You gotta use the arrow keys. Okay. What the heck? I don't. What? There's like these little sob. Oh no, Jimmy's down. Okay. I better. This is not how a bike turns. What is with this? It's like, I can't... Okay, here we go. You gotta kinda click the arrow keys along with the WASD keys to turn, but you kinda like start pulling a wheelie if you... <sighs> okay. Oh boy. This looks like a death... Oh my word. Okay, that's why it's Guts and Glory. That was pretty brutal, not gonna lie. Okay, here we go. Better, there we, there it is. These saw blades are giving me anxiety. Oh, okay. Oh, there goes my leg. Where, oh no, this is a dead end. I'm gonna back that up. Okay. At least it, at least Jimmy didn't get hit. It's dad, oh my. I'm stuck on the mailbox. What? How did it... Okay. Apparently the post just... Decapitated me or something there. Now I gotta run through this again. Okay, this is... Oh, and now I fall off the bike. I didn't think I could because... I was bouncing around so much before. Okay, slow down. Geez, that takes some skill to hold that. You ever try that on a real bike? Yeah, that's, here we go. Okay. Just this bystander guy just got murked. Here we go. Well, that was probably pretty trashy. It took forever. Let's, uh, let's change track here. I'm liking this. I'm liking this so far. The controls, I don't like so much, but the, oh my, this looks cool. Rocket signs. Yeah, the controls are pretty janky, but I don't know. It's kind of a, it's so weird that with the, with the uh, obstacles and stuff, it kind of makes it fun, but it's, it's definitely an obscure game here. What? Choose your hero. Go with Larry. Okay, 
Okay, now this is just a propane tank and a lawn chair here. Oh, this is an interesting... This reminds me of, like, Gary's mod, but with some better... Oh, my word. Some better graphics. Oh, that takes some skill. Oh, fail. Alright, I think I got it down better now. Jeez, the camera just flipped on me, though. Okay, this is harder than it looks. Maybe if you use, like, a different controller, maybe? I don't know. It just kind of keeps on turning, like... Oh, my gosh. That is horrendous. Okay. I really want to get to that flag for you guys. I want to get this win. All right. We're going to try a different one here. Stunt tour. Here we go. I like dirt bikes. I have a CR125. Let's see what 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 we got going on here. This looks like a classic um jump your bus situation here we go I don't understand this big sombrero this bike is definitely not a two stroke it's probably an enduro oh these dumb saw blades just took my hand off <sighs> controls oh my goodness my cursor is just glitching in and out too. I wonder if there's like a bleed out, and if you bleed out, you die. Okay, here we go. I need some speed. Okay, landmines. All right. Oh, and I'm. Where did I get? I got shot with an arrow. Here we go. Oh, okay. All right, here we go. Up over the curb. Jeez. Uh-oh. Come on, come on. What the? Ah, uh, it's barrels. So that was Guts and Glory. And I'm going to give that a 7 out of 10. I hated the control scheme. I like the idea. It's a little violent, but it's just janky enough that I'm probably going to want to play it again sometime or just show a friend out as a joke. So, slap of approval. I don't know how much this actually costs. I wouldn't spend more than a dollar or two on it, but I got it in the mystery bundle, so it was pretty cheap. So, All right, let's move on to the next game. All right, so we're going to boot up Laser Life. I already was admitted into it, and it said I needed an Xbox controller. Um, so I had to exit out and restart and put that controller in. But let's get into it here. So Already, like at the beginning, I was like, this is pretty trippy. Yeah, look at Controllers required. Looks like a little dude getting sucked into a, a UFO. Memory is merely the process of tuning into vibrations that have been left behind in space and time. That sounds like something you'd find on your fortune cookie. Just like a standard fortune cookie message. And then you get you look at the lucky numbers on the back. This ship... This looks like something from Halo, like a Covenant ship. And then there's a little dot. It looks like approach in there. I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, this is some extraterrestrial anomaly going on here now. Purple light. Kind of cool. Looks like a spaceman. Oh, that's a. That looks like a. Yeah, that's a skull. He's he's a gunner. 
press A. Uh, select memory. Collect, move, collect, move. Okay, I'm kind of confused right now. Not going to lie. I don't know what... What the... Move... Oh, this is one of those beep games. Oh, do I gotta hit these? Oh, here we go. Do, 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 do. I've never played a beat game ever, so sorry if I seem like an idiot at the beginning. But I was very confused, and now I know why I need a controller because you kind of got to use the uh, pad thing or the analog sticks to move these little lights, which is kind of fun. Um, I don't know if I would like. I don't really like the space theme. Like maybe if they were playing some some rock and roll music, some classics, I'd be getting into it a little bit more. But then. Then again, it's like, why would I just not play Guitar Hero? But, I don't know. This is definitely something unique for me. I'm doing pretty good right now, actually, I think. It's getting harder. Oh, I clicked that. Jeez. I don't know how long I'll play this, just because it's kind of straightforward with... Like, I don't know if there's going to be like a storyline or something. At the beginning it would kind of seem like it, maybe? Looks like there's a kind of a scoring in the top left there. I really don't understand the environment I'm going through. This looks like a... I don't understand, like, is this some big spaceship structure or some sort of and what is that that looks like a some sort of a eel with sunglasses I don't know what I just saw but we are moving into this cog looking thing and there's little jellyfish and um, it's definitely a psychedelic this is probably what people on LSD back in the 70s were experiencing with some Jerry Garcia plan and some eels swimming around with sunglasses. Honestly, okay, they're not sunglasses, but they kind of look like it. Sweet. 224, 230. That's not half bad for not knowing that this was a beat game. Oh, what the... This is... This is now their octagon things. That looks like a little train track that I had set those little connector things when I was a kid. You're not fooling me. That's not a space craft material. And then the job drawbridge. I wonder if those things can like impede my laser laser uh, beat saber things and now there's little action figures okay this is definitely I feel like this guy who made or man or woman or whoever who made this was like grabbing yeah and there's a train set this is something from his childhood his or her childhood um, yeah, I'm going to be done with this. I get the gist of it. You fly the little lasers and you hit the little buttons. And I don't really like the music, but it's psychedelic, so. Alright, uh, so this is Laser Life, I believe. Um, I'm going to give this one maybe a 6 or a 5.5 out of 10. I mean, I've never played a beat, beat game like this before. So it was kind of entertaining, and I didn't know what to expect, so maybe um, just that, like, 
the weirdness of it and like I had no idea what was gonna happen but like once I figured it out I was like kind of lost its luster I probably won't play this game anymore or show anyone just because none of my friends really like space games anyway so so yeah five and a half out of ten laser life uh, and we'll move on to the next video all right, we are gonna start the Lovely Planet Arcade. This will probably be the final one for this video because it's probably gonna be running a little longer. But let's jump into Lovely Planet Arcade. I don't understand why they don't just come preset full screen. It's like, who doesn't want to play in full screen? I don't know. I don't understand. Do I need this? Okay, there we go. That was weird. It wouldn't let me go, like, to the sides of the screen. I was stuck in the middle. I don't know. So, Act 1. Here we go. This definitely has some uh, Asian influence, if you can't tell by the... Yeah. <laughs> okay. Looks like I got a shotgun here. Okay. Hearts. Okay, they can shoot at me. I was wondering, like, okay, so I just shoot these dudes and walk into pillar. Okay, that was okay. Well, I'm assuming I gotta do it quicker, so. And these guys. Oh. If you get hit by any square, you're done for, so. Oh my goodness, okay. Obviously gotta be more careful. Okay, strafe. Okay, that's a... Okay. Didn't even get a shot off. Oh, yeah. So this is like a tactical shooter, but really weird thing. Did, I'm not very fast. Yeah. Oh, okay, that that's a bottleneck area. So if you go down there, you're screwed. Okay, you kind of got to do a quick turn and shoot. Oh, I almost died there. And run into the pole. It's like Mario. It's like jump up on the top of the pole and then end the match. All right. So far, I'm already getting bored with this game, but I'll play this last level. I mean, there's... They're reusing, like, everything. You can't look up and down either. It's only left and right. Like, this is, like, such a basic game. Like, I feel like it did not take much to develop this. But, I mean, it was on the mystery bundle, so it's like, I don't care how much it, it costed, I guess. Okay. I think I've seen enough of this game to know what it's about. Um, well... This is the something, I don't even remember what it's called, let's see here. The Lovely Planet Arcade. Not very impressed, pretty lame, you can't look up and down. It's just a speed run through shoot thing, very basic, very basic. I mean, at least I could play it, it's not like it was glitched the heck out. But I'm gonna give this one a 4 out of 10. I mean, they could maybe make it better and I would enjoy it more, but for now I would just label this as a free one. I don't think it's really worth anything, so don't go out there and buy it. So, Alright, well this concludes um, the video. I hope you enjoyed all three games that I tested today. Uh, let me know in the comments if you enjoyed what you saw, and let me know what I can improve on. I am here to have fun with you guys. I'm not really a serious gamer or anything. But now that I have good internet, I've been really wanting to make some YouTube videos and just have some fun. So this has been Dial-Up Boy, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.